Runners taking leadoffs does not start for Little League until the 50-70 division, which is 12 and 13 year olds, but in many travel ball organizations leading off starts much earlier. Personally, I am not a fan of leading off at younger ages because you can tend to turn a walk into a triple, as most young catchers are not able to accurately make the throw and young pitchers have a hard enough time focusing on the batter without the unneeded distraction. This video is of a 10U U-Triple-S-A tournament game. Here, the pitcher makes a very good move catching the runner at first. As a runner, you should not start to get your lead until the pitcher goes in to get the sign. This runner here is taking a lead too soon. The pitcher, seeing this, now only needs to wait for the runner to be stepping and leaning away from first. Making this throw at just the right time, when that runner is stepping towards second, makes the play possible. The runner now needs to plant the foot, reverse momentum, and try to get back to first. He may not be far off, but with his momentum going the wrong direction, the pitcher is able to pick him off fairly easily. When you are a pitcher, watch for this and time your movement and throw to match the right foot taking a step. When you are the runner, you need to wait, get your lead quickly when the pitcher is getting the sign, and then when you get your secondary lead, you want to also make sure that you have your right foot planted before the catcher has the ball. A good catcher is going to watch the runner, and if the runner's secondary lead is moving away from the bag when the catcher has the ball, he will snap throw and probably get you. Again, have the right foot planted before the pitcher comes to the set position, and again after your secondary lead before the catcher has control of the ball.